Hey, what is up, everybody? It's Damron. We are playing Sniper Elite 5, a very awesome game. It's a sniper kind of stealth game. If you haven't played any of the games in this series, I highly recommend you check them out. But in this video series, we're going to be covering all the collectibles of this game, the documents, letters, workbenches, dead eye targets, and hidden items so you can get all the collectibles in one playthrough. So let's go all ahead right, and get started with the first cue. mission, the Atlantic Wall. And right in the beginning of the mission, again, you're going to be coming up this beachfront here. This is right in the beginning. The game is actually kind of teaching you how you can find items from captains in the game so uh, this is kind of linear and you you know you really can't miss this particular one but essentially you're gonna climb up this netting here and you're gonna be instructed to take out this officer and get his key to the boathouse you can either kill him or you can subdue him whichever one you want so when you take out officers in this officers game you can like search their body this is how you can get them. keys to certain Should locations you get safe you know codes to safe mm -hmm. things like that but anyway this is gonna be automatic you're gonna be half to do this and unlock the boathouse and when you go into the boathouse then you will also be instructed Military to pick papers. up the classified document that's look. on the table in front of you so here. this is kind of you know introducing you to this concept and this is also our first classified document in the game Moving on, you're going to have a very noticeable cutscene, and also this is part of the kind of introductory portions of the mission. It's going to teach you about armories and workbenches, but after this kind of noticeable cutscene, just kind of progress through the building, and when you come to this room, you can grab these bolt cutters. There's always bolt cutters in some of the missions that can help you, you know, cut can through doors and locks that make it easier and faster than picking them, but essentially move up to the second floor of the building and use those bolt cutters to break open this door, and this is going to be the first, you know, armory that you come to in the game go ahead and take out this nazi soldier that's in here and the game is going to introduce you to the workbench again this is going to be part of your main objective in the first mission so this is our first of 24 workbenches throughout the game now that we have kind of got out of that introductory mission, now you see these missions are kind of like small little, you know, open areas and you can kind of approach this game however you want. And our first collectible that we're going to get is on the east side of the map. You can see we're kind of south of our main objective on this road that's heading north and east. And we're actually going to kind of aim off the map. So here we are on that road. And if you look to the east, you'll see a building in the distance on the top of which is our first eagle eye target, which are these stone eagles that we'll be shooting throughout the game. From that same location, so you can see we just took that out, we're also going to get our first personal letter. There's 41 of these throughout the campaign. The first one is going to be right here. So from where we shot that, just head north, you'll see this small shack-like building. Out in front of that are Violet. some weapon crates with our first Must letter. Must plan, Violet. Take out local... Moving on from where we uh, got that letter, we're gonna head kind of northwest now to our objective, which we have to kind of destroy the radar however you want to. Um, you can either take out the power source, or you can blow up the concrete pillars, whatever you want. But when you come up here, you can actually enter into the bunker, and this is how you would you know, perform the more stealthy option as opposed to blowing it up. And when you come down here, if you look in this small room here to the right, you're gonna have a lot of bookshelves, kind of an office-like room. There will be a small safe. Again, you can find the captains that may have the safe house codes um, if you want to but we can also just plant a satchel charge on those safes in order to blow them up and get the contents and this particular one when you blow it up that's going to be our second classified document the map of the area is anti-air defenses all right, so moving west from that, you know, we're going to be kind of progressing just west. You can see I'm at this kind of roundabout that is in the northern section of the map where these three buildings are. This is going to be where you're going to take out your first artillery gun if you're doing the side objectives. And in this location, you have this large building right here. If you go into this building on the right hand side, you're going to find another safe. Again, you could find the key if you want to or just blow it up with a satchel charge. There's always going to be satchel charges kind of laid around all these areas um, throughout the map. So if you don't have one, just kind of look around around and you should be able to find one but blow that up head in there and we'll get our next classified document Atlantic wall in the, the same building that, that we got British this classified shot? document in, we're going to get our next Good personal luck. letter. So just turn around and we're going to head through the building and end up going up to the second floor of kind of in this warehouse portion of the building. But go up to the second floor, you'll find a ladder that you can then take up to kind of get in the attic of the building. And on the uh, in the attic on a desk is our next personal letter. Sounds like Marcel's got a resistance cachet in his attic. 
I all right so after stuff. you've done that now we're going to work our way all the way to the northwest section of the map you can kind of take out your optional objectives as you go until you get all the way to the area where you're supposed to destroy the gun battery so this is kind of a little compound over here um, there will be an icon that talks about a safe that icon is actually where we're going to go so that's good so it's kind of marked on your map but you're going to go to this compound there's going to be a bunch of enemies i just kind of cleared them out uh, but essentially that area that we want to go into uh, you can either unlock with an armory key if you find the officer that has it by searching the body or you could just blow through the door with a satchel charge if you want to nonetheless once you go in there in the back of this room is our next workbench In this same armory is also our next classified document. There's also a safe in this room. Again, just go ahead and plant a satchel charge on that. Blow it away with the quietest uh, satchel charges of all time. Uh, but blow that up and let's get our next document. A map of the Nazis' artillery bunkers. Taking these out. All right, so moving on, we're getting our first of 24 hidden items. So you can see I'm heading south a little bit. We're on the west side of the map, just south of where we just were at another cul-de-sac where there's three buildings and a farmhouse. Uh, so go to this center building. It's this two-story building, very noticeable. If you just go where I was on the map, head inside on the bottom floor. Next to the sink, we're going to find our first hidden item. An FFI flag. Hope whoever left this lying around got away from the Nazis. So from that cul-de-sac, now how you know head southeast now to the main town, okay? So in the main town, there's going to be a lot of enemies. Uh, the building that we're looking for is the main, the largest building on the northeast side of the town. It's going to have these Nazi flags draped in front of it. Uh, it's the largest building in this area. You can't miss it on the northeast side again. So go ahead and head there. Head up into the second floor of this room. And when you get up to the second floor, hang a right, kind of U-turn at the top of the stairs. You're going to go down this hallway. Again, hang a right and another right where we're going to find another safe for us to blow up and get our next collectible resistance we're planning to raid an armory after grabbing this personal letter, now we're going to head east out of the town. Okay, so now we're heading east. Just go kind of back to the main road, and you can see we're in another area that has three small buildings at the end of the road. So I'm kind of in the central area of these buildings. There's kind of a farmhouse, uh, a little shack-like building right there. Um, if you look at the building on the right-hand side on a bench, you're going to find your next Resistance collectible. Radio and a biscuit tin. Pretty also boys. in the same area now go into the building that has the red roof you'll have to duck under this two by four to get behind it and subsequently you'll be able to climb a ladder use that ladder to get to the second floor of this room and right beside you where you step off the ladder is our next personal letter Beckendorf is working over the locals. From this personal letter, we're going to get our next dead eye target. So go ahead and just drop out of this building. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of look south. Okay, so just head head south out of that building. And I'll go ahead and show you on the map. So here we are on the map. Again, those same three buildings that we were just at. And we're going to look southeast all the way to this next vantage point. That vantage point is actually where the Stone Eagle is. So it's pretty far away, but this is a pretty good shot from here. And it's kind of easy to just do this right here so if you kind of look southeast look at this huge bunker on top of that bunker take that shot All right, so now I've started to work my way back to the town. You can kind of head west along this road on the southern side. I kind of cleaned out the optional objectives there. And you can see I'm on the south side of the town. This building that I'm highlighting is actually the building we want to go to, which is just beside one of your optional objectives. So that's kind of a good way to have a reference point. So there's kind of the plaza of this area. Here's our optional objective. And if you look at the building right beside that, you'll see an open door with some brown stairs heading up to the second level. This is the building that you want to go into. So go up into that second level. And as soon as you kind of walk into the room, you'll find your next collectible sitting on this table here.
So now we've got that. Now we're going to head south kind of to the dock. So we're basically all the way in the southwestern most portion of this kind of uh, mission. And there's a dock that kind of leads out to a gazebo at the end. In that gazebo on a table is our next collectible. Nazis were closing in. From that uh, gazebo, I'll open up my map and show you, but we're going to take our next shot on our next eagle eye target, or dead eye target, and this is actually on top of the roof of the big building that we got that collectible in earlier, but from here, you get a good shot at it. Uh, so from the dock, kind of look northeast, and you can see right in the middle of the top of that main building is our next dead eye target. So after you've busted up that statue, now it's time to go to our main objective building, which is in the southwestern section of the town. It's going to be this kind of large, ugly, yellow brick building as instructed to you earlier. So I'm on the back side of this building. On the back side of this building, there is an entrance into the bottom floor. As soon as you go in, hang a left, and you're going to get your next personal letter right there on the couch. Once you grab that, now you're going to have to take the vines that are on the back of the house in order to climb that and get up into the third floor of the building. So this is part of the story. You're going to have to go up here in order to progress this mission. Um, so go up here and you'll find Marcel. But before you know you leave, just make sure you interact with the SMG workbench that is on the left side of this room when you hop Sorry, up in here. Um, it's not like interacting with him is going to end the mission. There's still other things to do, so don't worry about that. But just be sure you use this workbench before you progress on. And that's going to wrap it up for all the collectibles in the first mission of Sniper Elite 5, the Atlantic Wall. So I hope you all found that helpful, and hopefully I'll see you in Mission 2.